Hello, <clears throat> in this video I'm going to show how dependencies work in De Design Spark Mechanical. That is, uh, that if you've got several instances of a part in an assembly, just by altering one of those parts, all the others are affected the same way. Not only within that uh, assembly, the individual part uh, is also modified. And this can happen in both directions, by modifying the, the part drawing, it can alter all parts in an assembly and vice versa. Here is an assembly that I made earlier. As you can probably notice it's a, a stereo jack socket. And it's got two kinds of terminals on it. There is a spring contact, which is this one here with the dimple in it. And the ordinary contact, which it uh, presses up against. Now these two kinds of contacts are each made from one basic contact which is then duplicated to make three on each side. Now these have various dependencies. We we'll look at the ordinary contact to demonstrate this. In another image I've got the ordinary contact shown by itself. If we go back to this and we have a look at the ordinary contact we will notice that if we modify it for example we change the radius of one of the slots here from 0.75 millimeters to say 0.25 it changes not only itself but on the other two instances of the terminal it changes those as well and on the other one because it's a different contact it leaves them alone. Oops. Also, if we go to the separate drawing, it also changed the, the, drawing, the separate drawing. So there is a dependency there in both directions because if we were to change this one from 0.75 to 0.25 we've got a nice thin slot there and we go back to the assembly we notice that uh, these have also changed so that's quite handy suppose you had hundreds of these contacts you could change them all by just changing the base contact or just change one of them in this assembly and globally they would all change. Suppose we want to go back to previous state and we press the control and Z keys which would normally take you back We'll do that. We'll get a message. You have reached the end of a sequence of undo steps for this document. If you continue, you will switch to another document. So we'll say OK to that. And it's taken us back to a step, previous step in the individual contact. Do another Control Z. And we're back to a full size slot. Go back to the jack body and we'll see we are back to 
the original state. Now suppose we wanted to change one of these terminals without affecting the others. So suppose we wanted to change this one. We would highlight it, press the right button, right mouse button, and in the source list we can make that one independent. Which means we can pull the dimension and it does not affect any of the others. Because what we've done, we've made a new instance of that contact, made it into a new component. Contact 2, it has renamed itself. And if we go back to the contact, it, we see that it has not changed it. We can control Z it back to the original and we can even control Z and it's gone back to ordinary contact and we can pull and again it affects all the others. So that's how dependency works, which is wonderful. That's handy and useful. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.